my gosh, dude. All right. You wouldn't believe what just happened. Recording crashed, gang. Rise up. Also, backwards hat gang. Yeah. All right. So it is your boy Ergo from New Era. You already know what it is, what it been, what it do. So today I wanted to show you how to collab with other producers. I know that most of the seasoned and experienced producers um, already know how to do this and know how to do it right and stuff. But this is more for the producers who are kind of new to uh, producing and want to expand their work and get it to other producers and collaborate a little bit. So. Uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So the first thing I want to cover is how to uh, send out loops or just send out your work really in general. And I have uh, this tweet from Mike Hector. Shout out Mike Hector. I'm about to put it on the screen right now. So uh, what he said was we transfer for stems. That's most that's mainly like studio sessions and uh, when you're actually making a song. So you don't really have to worry about that. Uh, Dropbox for loops and samples. So what you can do is uh, I'll show you. Uh, I'll put a little video on the screen. So, so if you go to Dropbox, you can make a new, uh, like a new folder, and then upload a bunch of samples in there, and then you can just share a, a link of that to other producers, and they can access that Dropbox however many times they want to, and uh, download all the samples right from there. It's really easy. So that's really what you do for loops and samples if you want to send out uh, that type of stuff. And for beats and songs, uh, just Gmail. I think you're uh, limited to 50 megs, so. Uh, you can't really put in too much, but it's enough to send a few beats or a couple songs or something like that. So yeah, shout out Mike Hector for those gems right there. Uh, now we're just going to cover how to uh, make sure your, your, your loops are on time and stretched and all that nice stuff. Alright, so I got this loop from my boy Ori. He sent me a Dropbox link. Just download it straight from there. That's how we do it. But besides that, my FL is completely default. As you can see, got the 130 BPM on pattern mode so first thing i'm going to do is set it to song mode that way it's playing uh stuff in the playlist so uh first thing i noticed right here is uh 161 bpm so how we labeled it was his at dash the title 161 bpm a sharp minor so having the bpm in there is a hundred percent you gotta do that or else you're not gonna be able to do what i'm about to do right here and the key is kind of optional uh it's definitely helpful for other producers, but um, if you don't know the key or are having trouble finding it, it's kind of okay to not have it, but it's definitely helpful to to uh, put it there. So first thing I'm actually gonna do is bring up this right here and go to this little trim knob over here. This is FL20, by the way. I'm not sure about uh, FL12 or FL11, but FL20, we got the little trim knob. We're just gonna drag that all the way up. It cuts out all the excess noise and stuff. So now uh, if we go to both ends, no uh, blank space no blank space over there but as we can see um it's definitely not on grid all the way so what we're gonna do is take our tempo right here 161 bpm that's the tempo of the loop itself so we're gonna go to our project bpm and match it so now if we go over here there might be a little space yep so what we're gonna do so i see that it's it's supposed to be uh, uh 32 bars so if we stretch it to the 30 second bar if we Go into our sample right here and drag the time knob all the way up to that 30 second bar and then right click on pitch and hit reset because stretching it sometimes messes so with the pitch a little bit um you turn our bpm i mean our tempo on you can easily hear that um it's right on time it's on time everywhere so as long as we're matching our project bpm with this cutting out all the excess noise and then stretching it to however however many bars is actually supposed to be another key if it's too quiet this loop is not too quiet because uh he he gained stage it correctly but if you hit normalize sometimes that can boost it to uh, a listenable uh stage of of audio so hitting normalize can can just make it louder and more easy to listen to so the last thing i kind of wanted to show you was how to find the uh the key of your melodies kind of easily now this only really works if you're uh the first chord in your melody is the first triad in the scale so um so i have my uh scale right here set to a uh and if we ma just make this first triad right here and then like uh do this now since this first root note is is a then our whole uh, entire uh, melody is an A. But say we shift it up, 
our first root note is in C sharp. That's a C sharp melody. We go to G, you know, that's in G. But say like this is the case where it wouldn't work. Um, say I select all these, just delete it. Uh, say we go down here and like do this progression. Now the, fir the, the first root note is F, but it's not the first triad in the scale. So really, this is the first triad in the scale, which is, which is A. So it's confusing like that. You really just kind of have to figure out uh, what the first, uh, the, the first like bass note in the scale is. Like F is not the first bass note, but if we were to switch it around and make this the first chord, then that would be the first bass note. So yeah, the few major keys of this video is how to send your samples out, what to label them as, and how to stretch them and, and manipulate them so that they're on tempo. Another tip I wanna throw in there is just making it simple and adding things that are easy to listen to because if you're sending these melodies out and the producers don't even wanna to listen to them while they're making the beat, then you know what are the chances of the rapper wanting to listen to them for three and a half minutes trying to record vocals into it? It's gonna be impossible if it's just not easy to listen to. So while making these melodies, make it simple, easy to listen to, you know, you can loop it over and over for five minutes and you won't have an issue with it. It's nice to listen to. So that's another T uh, while, while making these uh, melodies. So yeah, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or thought it was helpful, make sure to leave a like and a comment. Also, I want to see some hats in the comments, bro. I'm trying to cop some fire hats. So if you know any fire hats, drop them in the comments below. I'm going to be reviewing some. So uh, make sure to drop those in the comments. But yeah, it's been Ergo from New Era. Hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.